Hello, hello, it is your girl Sam, and today I'm gonna be doing this tropical feel vibes Valentine's Day look for you guys. Um, so I'll just show you what I'm gonna be using today for my lip cheek color. I use a color called Tropicana. Um, and then I'll be adding in some fun colors and today I am shooting for using like little to no tools So first thing I'm gonna grab is Tropicana and I'm gonna put it right on my eyes All right, and I just love this color because it's so nice and light, but it has that coral touch into it and so This is a really nice look for those that want a more subtle pink look but also has just like a little bit something different. So I'm just doing the same thing, just doing it right here in the crease area. So see how it's just nice and light, nothing too crazy. And I'm also lifting up my brow to make it easier to get into the crease area um, for you guys. So there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my lip cheek color, Frenchy, just because it also has like that um, nice soft pink tone into it as well. Okay, and I'm going to put it right on my lid and just kind of ombre it up into the crease area. See, and even if you wanted, you could just do this as a look. <laughs> Um, but we'll have some fun just adding more colors and you can even pick for your and choose for yourself what colors you like best and what you like to do on yourself and leave out whatever colors you want or whatever. So, ooh, that's like a really nice look. I actually really like this so far. All right, now I'm going to go and use this color called Soulmate. So pretty. I love this shimmer. It's just so gorgeous and now I'm just gonna put it right here on my lid all the way across all right and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side all right there we are just gonna get it some more on the outside and I'm just t I'm dabbing very lightly so I'm not pushing into my eye or anything like that see that just like creates like a really nice shimmery look now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of as you wish right here and this is like and I'm just gonna put it right here on the outer corner okay. whoops I actually got some on my and that's just gonna create a nice fun look And this also has, it looks gold, but it also has like some shimmer, shimmery pink into it. So that will just like help change the tones of things. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my um, eyeshadow everything brush. I'm going to use a small end and I'm going to get this color called Bayou. And I'm going to put it on the bottom line of my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna just going to tap the excess and then I'm just going to put it right under here. And this just kind of gives it a pop of color and helps give more of that tropical vibe and it's just such a beautiful color to use for just something fun to do and then you can and then I'm gonna put on my eyeliner um, but even then you could totally do this look with or without eyeliner whatever you want okay, there you go so and I'm just like adding it little by little, just getting a little bit more right in here because I really want that color to pop underneath on the bottom. And see, I'm just kind of tapping it, making sure I get it all covered where I want it. There we are. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same brush and then I'm gonna get this color called Unicorn. And now I'm going to put it right here in this like uh, um, inner corner of my eye just to add a little bit of pop of color. Okay. Now I'm also going to use Unicorn 
for right here underneath my brows. And you wanna do that last because if you do it first, it's just gonna get blended in with everything else and then you're gonna to have to reapply it anyway. So might as well just save it for last, right? All right, now I'm gonna get my brush right here and I'm gonna get my Black Friday eyeliner and let's go ahead and put some eyeliner on there just to give it that nice, full, complete look. Like I said though, if you don't like eyeliner, you can just stick with this, put on some mascara and be good to go. But for me, I love to <laughs> use eyeliner. So we're, that's what we're gonna do. And what you're gonna do to get eyeliner perfect every time is always start on the inside or like the outside and have your brush pointing this direction and then you're gonna go about halfway and then you're gonna get the other side and then you're gonna have your brush facing the other direction and have it going the other way and you get perfect eyeliner every time it's awesome and then you can pick and choose how thin or how wide you want your eyeliner. And then also I'm just getting the inside corner right here and do that with your eye open. It makes it a lot easier. And I'm just gonna do the other side. There we go. I just love this eyeliner. It just goes on like butter. It feels, it just glides right on. It's awesome. Okay, now I'm just gonna get the inner part right here. All right, now what I'm going to do as well is I'm gonna get my white eyeliner. This is just NYX's white eyeliner and it's a pencil. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right here in my waterline and this will just continue to like lighten up my eye and also helps the blue stand out a little bit more and then it also helps my eyes look bigger doing this so this is just like a fun little trick that you guys can do but see the difference see how this eye just looks a little bit bigger than this one so getting a white eyeliner and putting in your waterline will do that for you and it's just really simple Really, really simple that you guys can do this. All right, now I'm just gonna get my Ben and Tap and I'm gonna go through and just clean this up a little bit, soften it a tiny bit so it's not so harsh. All right, and that is it. So this is just a really fun, easy, tropical breeze type valentine's day look that you guys can do so thank you so much for joining me and enjoy the rest of your day